Hello everybody, I'm your friend about Let's Player Spider-Man and welcome you back to Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. As we left off, I got myself a ship and now we're gonna get the crew and we're gonna start off with the Swordmaster. Or maybe we could try Captain Smirk. Maybe he can help. You never know. There's no answer. Well, that was fast. You didn't wait for one second. Well, he's not home. So let's get to the Swordmaster. Don't even try going to the circus. After you do the job for the circus, you you just can't go there anymore. At least Guybrush won't go inside anymore because of the crazy brothers. So the only choice we have is the Swordmaster for now here. So let's get her. I'm sure she'll help because we beat her. She owes us. Do I think still have that letter or note? Yes, I do. Attention, pirates of melee! Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Yup, he means business, but so do we. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Hooray! One down, two to go. I wonder who's gonna... I wonder who I'm gonna get next. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for Otis. Yeah, I'm gonna get Otis first. Meanwhile, in my having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble? No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now. Go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. Too bad he doesn't know that they already got a ship on one crew member. And, oh my god, Mr. Shine's on was LeChuck all along! Ooh, like that, nobody saw that coming, right? It was so obvious. Obvious from the start, then. 
Fister Shine Top either worked for LeChuck or was LeChuck. I guess many people thought that he worked only worked for LeChuck. I think as a kid I actually thought that too, that he only worked for LeChuck. Because he was so evil. And it, it is, it was kind of a good twist after all, that LeChuck was Fister Shine Top. Yeah, hey, you're still here. I thought you would have gone already. You guys are still here too. Seems like it's always ten o'clock on this island. Probably is, because we never <laughs> see it. Excuse me, I'm talking here. Must be ten o'clock all the time because we never see the sun around here. I don't see anything special about it. Well, there's somebody standing there, so that's special. May I help you? I was just on my way to the governor's mansion. Are you here for the looting? Yes, looting sounds like fun now that I'm a pirate and all. And do you have reservations, sir? Reservations? For looting? Oh, yes, very popular when the governor's away. Chaos would ensue if we didn't have a system now. Unless you have reservations, you'll have to leave. Well, your pirates isn't chaos your business, so everybody should be looting at the same time to get what they want first. Who gets first whatever they can get? Is it that the whole pirates thing? Instead of having a s system? Gee, I don't have reservations. Should I have called ahead? Of course you should have called ahead. This is a very popular place. Now, we're booked solid for the next five hours. Mm, but I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be fine. Super. I'll put you down for one to loot the governor's mansion at 2.30. Yay, at 2.30 I can go loot the governor's mansion. Except it's always 10 o'clock around here. So, not gonna happen. Well, let's go talk to Otis. Maybe he can help. Well, of course, he's in a jail, but... The governor's been kidnapped! What? Here, look at this note. They kidnapped the governor? That really makes me mad. Oh, I feel like kicking someone. Hmm. I wonder if she left her place unlocked. Is it just me that sometimes Otis sounds like Ahmed the dead terrorist? You know, the puppet that Jeff Dunham uses? Sometimes it just sounds like him. Must be the accent. If I let you out, would you join my crew? Sure! Of course! To my emancipator, I shall be eternally indebted. Until then, I pace. So we need to get him out. How do we do that? Well, when the first time when I played this, I thought I need to find a key from somewhere, but there's no such thing. It's more complicated. I should go. Nah, I'm not. I talked to her before, the fortune teller, and she told me of the fate of going to Monkey Island. So, let's work on getting Otis out of that cell. And like I told you, it's a very complicated way to do it. <laughs> oh, hush you. It's not that bad. Okay, so. We take one of the cups. And use it with the barrel to get some grog. This stuff is eating right through the mug. That it is. And we have to be fast. And we have to keep an eye on this mug here. 
They made it so easy on the special edition on the, you just keep an eye out on the mug right there. To make sure that you have it doesn't get get through it. The grug doesn't go through the mug. Here we go. When I played this on the Amiga, I had to be really fast and had to you had to go to the inventory all the time to make sure that you switched with the mugs so that it doesn't eat through. And that was difficult back then. Really difficult. But here it's really easy. Hey, Gray, a drink. I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow. And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. Sucker! <laughs> but... Do we still have a deal? I'm sure he'll be back. He gave me his word as a pirate. Well, that he did. But... It's mostly guidelines. Instead of real rules. You know, that type of thing. So onwards we go! Now for the third person for the crew. And I always, when I play this game, I've always visited him right at this hour. When the governor's being kidnapped and you need to find him for the crew. I never go to his place before this event happens. Maybe I should've. I don't know. I just never have. I don't know why. It's just the way I play the game, I guess. I wonder if anybody actually goes to this place before they go anywhere. Even when I first played this game, I don't remember going to that place before. I think I did, but I didn't have any idea how to get there. Because of the, well, as you can see, this is a shore and there's an island and you cannot really get to the island right away because of a, there's no real bridge, like this bridge here. That goes over the river, but as you can see, there's like a uh, cable, but no cards or anything. So, gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. So what you do is, it's just like the one on the other side. Once we get up here, hmm, I think it could support my weight. You cannot really use the cable on its own, so you have to use some item for it. And what item do you use? Do you use the t-shirt? It doesn't seem to open. No, I didn't want to open. Use the cable with... I don't think that'll get me anywhere. Nope, doesn't work. And well, how about this shirt? I don't think that'll get me anywhere. Well, how about the, um, the compass? I don't think that'll get me anywhere. Okay, well... The, how about the chicken? Ah, that works. Efficient. Oh, that's a, that's a neat looking house. I don't see anything special about it. Dingy. Oh, dingy. So let's go in. Hey there. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? You don't like visitors, and you have a hotel. At least that's what the sign said, that you have reservations and everything. I'm a pirate cannonball head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook, and I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you've got a little hair problem. Jeez, you just don't know when to quit, do you? Obviously, neither did your barber. Why, you... <laughs> uh, oh, Guybrush. Ooh, so funny. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? 
Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business, and since then, I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one what attacked me when I was just a child and left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? Well, not really. I need you for my crew. The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? I think I'm going to go with the last one. That's hilarious. We become overcome with despair and just give up? Well, that's one solution. Wait. Oh, no. We could get a ship and a crew and go rescue her. What an idea. Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big, brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Should be easy. Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. <laughs> of course I've got the guts. I Giver Sweepwood. <laughs> Yeah, murderous wig devil, also known as a parrot. I don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. <sighs> I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 Oh, come on, Meathook. 
You're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make it talk. Who want to see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Too bad I didn't get to show the tattoo that he does. The, the tattoo show. He really wants to make it talk and it talks in a different voice. He's li literally talking out of his stomach. Creepy. But with that done, we got all the crew that we need. Hmm. So. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I didn't want to look at it. What possible use could that have? Oh, this kind of use. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. Indeed it is. It's a good thing that they have these chickens with the pulleys in the middle. They come in handy for a situation like this. Pretty much the only situation that it would be good for. So we got the crew, we got a ship, so let's get going. At least we hope that Ode is gonna come back. I'm sure he will. If not, I'm gonna kick his ass. Look, I told you. I haven't seen a thing. Now, if you're worried about her, go out and get her. Gonna do just that. Let's go. Hi, Stan. Your mouth is open. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. Sure they have. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Yep. Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. Yup. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm, I'm out of here. You sold me. Oops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Yay, I got a broken Maybe ship. I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Have you come to be on my crew? Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You never did know when to use that one. So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Right there. Where's our crew? Right here. This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. No, it's not. Yes! Part 2! The Journey! One part down, three to go! Yes! Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway.
Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. Nice skull in the cloud. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Mutiny! I'm doomed. Yep, you pretty much are. You got a crew that goes for mutiny straight to Westerhead at the start. So pretty much, teamwork is gone, and it's a single, it's solo time for Guybrush again. So we're gonna find out how the hell we're gonna get out of here and get to Monkey Island, but that's for later. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all later. Take care, people. Bye.